Hello and welcome to The Flow. Today on Cycling with Sully, we are comparing the 2021 Shrek Farley 5, the 2020 Specialized Fat Boy, and the 2020 Giant Yukon 2. When the snow comes back in the winter, many mountain bikers find themselves putting their bikes away for the season. Luckily, now you don't have to put your bike away thanks to the wonderful Fat Bike. Fat bikes typically have tires 3.8 inches or wider, allowing them to float over the snow, making them the perfect answer to continue your mountain biking through the winter. I will be looking at geometry, components, and of course, value. One quick thing, Cycling with Sully just reached 500 subscribers. I can't thank each and every one of you enough who has supported the channel. It felt like it was just yesterday when I put the goal of 500 subscribers out there, and now we are actually there! If you want more content like this, or of any suggestions, let me know by subscribing and writing a comment down below. Now let's reach 1000 subscribers! Thanks, now let's get back into the video! First, we have the Trek Farley 5. At $1,799.99, a Trek Farley 5 sits right in the middle for price. Trek's Alpha Platinum Aluminum frame has internal cable routing for the derailleur cable and dropper post cable, rack mounts, as well as a 197mm by 112mm adjustable dropout. This lets you fine-tune the bike's geometry and being able to opt for a single-speed drivetrain. A Bontrager Haru carbon fork with a 15 by 150 mm through axle can be found up front. The Bontrager Narwhal Team Issue 27.5 by 4.5 inch tires are sitting on tubeless ready Sunringal Mouflet 80 SL rims with Bontrager hubs. A Shimano Diori 10 speed drivetrain with an 11 to 46 tooth cassette drives the rear while a race face ride crank set can be found in the front. SRAM level hydraulic disc brakes along with 160 millimeter rotors provide adequate stopping power. And a Transex dropper post drops the Bontrager Arvada seat. Since I could talk about geometry all day, here are just a few key geometry specs. On the medium frame size, the Trek Farley 5 has a 69 degree head tube angle, a 59.4 cm effective top tube, and a 45.5 cm chainstay that is of course slightly adjustable. Second, we have the Giant Yukon 2. At $1,630, the Giant Yukon 2 is the cheapest of these three bikes. Giant's Alux SL aluminum frame has internal cable routing for the rear brake and rear derailleur, as well as space for a dropper post. Similar to the Track Farley 5, the Giant Yukon also has adjustable rear dropouts. A rigid composite fork with rack mounts takes up the front. 27.5 by 4.5 inch Maxxis Colossus tires rest on tubeless ready, unbranded 90mm rims, with the giant 15 by 150mm hub in the front and a giant 12 by 197mm hub in the rear. A Shimano Diori 10 speed drivetrain with an 11 to 42 tooth cassette and a 28 tooth pro wheel crank set. This doesn't offer the same range as the Trek Farley 5, unfortunately. Shimano MT200 hydraulic brakes provide reliable braking, and a giant contact seat is mounted on a fixed seat post. On the medium frame size, the Giant Yukon 2 has a 68.5 degree head tube, a 60.5 cm top tube, and an adjustable 46 cm chainstay. Third, we have the Specialized Fat Boy. At $1,875, the Specialized Fat Boy is the most expensive out of these bikes. 
Specialized's M5 alloy frame has internal cable routing for the rear derailleur, brake cables, and room for a dropper post cable. A specialized backed carbon fork connects the frame to the front wheel. 27.5 by 3.8 inch Maxxis Minion FBF and FBR tires are mounted on stout XC80 rims with stout pro hubs. A 12 speed SRAM SX Eagle drivetrain paired with a 10 to 50 tooth cassette and a SRAM X01 crank set is nice to see. SRAM level hydraulic disc brakes match the SRAM drivetrain as well. Unfortunately, there is no dropper post to move the specialized bridge seat. On the medium frame size, the specialized fat boy has a 71 degree head tube angle, a 60.4 centimeter top tube, and a 45.5 centimeter chainstay. In conclusion, all of these bikes serve different riders' needs. For value, the giant Yukon definitely owns it. It has almost all the things that most riders will need for a pretty solid price. But I think that it is worth spending a little more money to get the Trek Farley 5. The two things that really push it over the giant Yukon 2 is its dropper post and 11 to 46 tooth cassette. These two bikes geometries are more trail oriented compared to the Specialized Fat Boy. The Specialized Fat Boy does have the SRAM 12 speed drivetrain and SRAM level hydraulic brakes, but you definitely are paying for it for that price. If I had to choose one of these bikes, I would choose the Trek Farley 5. Thanks to its trail geometry, 11 to 46 tooth cassette, dropper post, and 4.5 inch tires. If you found this video helpful, or even just entertaining, please consider subscribing to help Cycling with Sully grow.